What is going on everybody? It is Iron Master and welcome back to more Paper Mario 64. In the last episode we competed in the trivia quiz off as Peach and got that jam and jelly that'll definitely help us later on down the road. Um as I was um as I was recording my video, um recording myself coming back to Toe Town and defeating Junior Troopa and preparing for chapter six, um my video got and uh, my video got cut off and since I didn't want to Oops. My video got cut off, and since I would saved here, I didn't want to do that all over and uh, all over again. So I thought um, to make things go faster, I think I'll just start here. Um, I already put the rose petals in the garden, and now we are going to start chapter six. So without further ado, here we go. Chapter 6, Dark Days in Flower Fields. So, my apologies for that, guys, but came here to Chapter 6 and that's all that matters. What ho? Now who might that be? Ho 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 ho. Up here, son. They call me Wise Wisterwood. I am the oldest tree here in Flower Fields, the land of trees, flowers, grasses, and plants. And you must be Mario. I've heard a lot about you, son. You're trying your best to save the star spirits and the rest of our, your world, aren't you? Very novel. If that is true, then your arrival means a star spirit is here in our land. I would help you in your quest, but alas, I cannot right now. Flower Fields is in trouble. A creature named Huff and Puff and his followers invaded our fairy land not long ago. These creatures brought clouds to our sunny sky. It has been dark and cloudy ever since. The sun doesn't even bother to rise in the sky anymore. We are all weak and fading. Oh, I remember something. The rumor is that Huff and Puff is holding somebody captive. Of course, it must be the star spirit that you're searching for. Oh ho, you're going to defeat the wicked Huff and Puff then? Well, that would make the wishes of Flower Fields come true, but it's not that easy. Huff and Puff is up in the sky on what we call the Cloudy Climb. There's no way up there now. Well, da -da -da, you might be able to reach it if you find a magical bean or something that grows high. Now, wait a minute. I think there is a flower that has a magical bean somewhere. Um, I believe her name is Petunia. Perhaps she is off to the east. It wouldn't hurt to go visit her and ask about it. The other flowers and bubbles around here might have some useful information as well. I'd say talk to everyone. Okay, east it is. Oh, we gotta watch out for these guys. I'm mostly going to go for the flowers. <clears throat> ah! They ran away from me, chicken. Do you have a second? Then listen to my sad tale. Ever since the sun went away, I've begun to droop. I have no energy at all. Without the sun, it just seems like the whole world is sad. Now these monty moles dig into the ground and bite my roots. Oh, woe is me. My beautiful seed collection will become a monty mole banquet if this keeps up. Please, sir, you look strong and capable. Could you get rid of those monty moles for me? In case you're wondering, the monty moles I'm talking about are... This guy. And this jerk. And this troublemaker. And this wicked creature. This guy is, well, you probably don't need to be concerned with that one. Please don't fail me. My seeds and I are counting on you to save us. It's on, evil gopher from Winnie the Pooh. Say, you're gonna die now. Oh yeah, bring it on! Got one down. Ah, 
Shoot. Only one damage left. There's always that one part, a uh, bit of health left that kind of gets annoying, but you'll defeat him eventually. I wonder how many of them do I have to defeat. Yeah. Ah! It's a Paper Mario edition of whack a -Mole. Wait a minute. Uh, I could definitely use Bombette for this fight. If I die on this fight, I'm definitely gonna go back and get oh I mean yes I did mix those ingredients but just once I think I can go get another one Please level, let me level up, please, please. Recharge immediately. That's very hurt. I'm just gonna go, uh, basically go at it with Power Bomb because I'm gonna level up very shortly. And the final touch. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yippee! Hooray! Hurrah! Yahoo! We! You got rid of the Monty Moles. Oh, thank you, thank you. To show you how grateful I am, I'll give you this magical bean. Here you are. Hmm? Yes, my name is Petunia. They call me the Sea Maniac. Hee <laughs> hee, nice to meet you. By the way, about that magical bean that I gave you, you shouldn't plant it. Why not? Because as a seed, it will always enjoy freedom. After it's planted and it sprouts up, it won't ever be able to move again. Don't you think that's sad? Please don't plant it with, oh, for instance, fertile soil and miracle water. I don't want to think about a sprout growing out of my cute little seed. No. Alright guys, that's going to things off this episode. Next time on Paper Mario 64, we're going to continue with Flower Fields. Until then, Arwen Master out. Peace.